this lecture today i'm going to talk to you about the differences between haploid and diploid cell the cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of an organism such as human beings in humans we have 23 pairs of chromosomes that is in total 46 number of chromosomes as shown here in this picture human cells specifically somatic cells they have 23 pairs of chromosomes then what are these somatic cells somatic cells are any cell of a living organism other than the reproductive cells okay for example liver cells are examples of somatic cells so what are reproductive cells reproductive cells are uh, male sperm and female egg cells so as you can see in this picture in human there are 23 pairs of chromosome out of these 23 pairs of chromosomes 22 pairs okay 22 pairs of chromosomes are common between males and females and these 22 pairs of chromosomes they are called autosomes and these autosomes they appear same in both males and females as you can see that each pair of these chromosome they differ in their shape and size as shown in this picture so the 23rd pair here is called sex chromosome so 23rd pairs of chromosomes they are called sex chromosomes and they the sex chromosomes are different in male and female so in male the sex chromosome pair 23rd pair chromosome is x and y as shown here whereas in females the 23rd pair of chromosome is x and x each person inherits one chromosome of each pair from father and one chromosome from their mother therefore in total 23 chromosomes are inherited from father and 23 from mother basically from each of these uh, pairs one chromosome from father and one chromosome from mother okay that is inherited therefore the offsprings they will have 23 chromosomes from father and 23 from the mother and hence each somatic cells they have 23 chromosomes from father and 23 chromosomes from mother so when a cell contains two sets of chromosomes okay it is called diploid okay when a cell contains two sets of chromosome it is called diploid for example somatic cells are diploid cells because they contain two sets of chromosome whereas when a cell contains only one set of chromosome it is called haploid okay so what are the examples of haploid male sperm cells female egg cells are examples of haploid cells so symbol n is used to refer to one set of chromosome therefore n is a haploid number in human n is 23 therefore 2n is a diploid number and uh, therefore in humans 2n is 46 so 2 times 23 it is 46 so then the next thing is that when haploid sperm n equals to 23 uh, and haploid egg n equals to 23 they undergo fertilization process of fertilization that results in the formation of zygote and this zygote is deployed in nature because here in total there are 46 chromosomes so 46 is 2n because 2 times 23 and n refers to haploid number okay so this is total chromosome number is 46